Mm, I couldn't hold it. And then there will be kids everywhere. How old are these kids? 10 to 13. 10 to 13? So yeah, so it's going to be impactful. It's going to be nice. It's super nice. So we arrived at Nike HQ here in LA. It's my, actually my first time here and it is pretty cool. It's like a small version of the Portland office. And today, I don't know if you guys know, but we are going to be doing or a workout slash helping these girls from this elementary school. Over 200 girls and we're going to be playing different sports with them to help inspire them, motivate them, help them become confident in sport. And so we'll do a Q&A panel to start and then we are going to be going through different stations. So I think maybe trying soccer, basketball, going through a workout, all of it. So it should be a really fun day. Wearing this shirt for the day. Looks, looks like a production mistake. Huh? Looks like a production mistake. Don't see that. Like sewed it together by mistake. No, that's called style. Sweaty. Nice. We were going to like Iceland. I think it would be nice. I always wear hoodies. I don't think these fans are gonna fit. They're an extra small. They're gonna fit more than 12 years old. <laughs> like, it's so tiny. One leg, it's not gonna fit me. So many Air Force ones. But I think I'm gonna wear some Metcons because it is a training day. So I brought some Metcons in my bag. Hmm. I wonder if they have a new shirt for me. Huh? Probably not. I got a promotion. I said I'm talking to myself. I said I got a promotion. Coach. We're both wearing orange. This is more salmon. Where's the salmon? TikTok or Instagram? Instagram, OG for me. <laughs> TikTok, TikTok. <laughs> Okay, I'm here. Alrighty, so Sparks or Angel City? Sparks. Angel City. Angel City. Angel City. <laughs> Alrighty, this one is a true LA native. So UCLA or USC? <laughs> Sorry, USC. My brother went to USC. <laughs> USC. Um, I'm gonna go with Stanford. <laughs> Alrighty. You don't gotta go to the questions we ask. Um, so we have our final question, Olympics or World Cup? CrossFit Games. Olympics. World Cup. Thank you, ladies. Um, so as I mentioned before you came to the stage, I'm so inspired by each of you and your journeys, um, and just inspired for you to share this with the rest of the next generations. Um, so I'm curious to hear from each of you, when did you fall in love with sport? And Lauren, I'll start with you. Honestly, as long as I can remember playing sport for the first time, I grew up with three older brothers. So I loved shooting hoops with them in the backyard, hitting baseballs. I just loved proving that as a girl, I could be just as strong as the boys. Okay, girl power, right? At Nike, we believe that if you have a body, you're an athlete. After today, trust me, you will know that we are all athletes, right? We're all gonna be athletes? Can you tell us more about CrossFit and how you got into it? Um, we also know that you've had your share of setbacks and injuries, and that remarkably that hasn't stopped you, and you've kept coming back and competing for more. Uh, what did you learn, and how did you find balance through all of that? Sorry, no, I threw like four a questions. Lot of, a lot of questions thrown into one. Let me start off with what is CrossFit? A lot of you might be wondering what that is. It's high intensity functional fitness. So what exactly is functional fitness? Um, it's all of your sports that you do every single day. So CrossFit is weightlifting, running, gymnastics, rowing. Um, it's basically training every day, constantly varied. So when I compete at the CrossFit Games, you're becoming the fittest in your sport. So there's 15 different workouts. You don't know what they're gonna throw at you. And so it could be like a built to a heavy deadlift and then the next workout is going to be a 400 meter run for time so i'm training to become the fittest in my sport um, so that's crossfit and then the next question was how i got into it so i actually was a 
big basketball player. Um, I played for St. Mary's High School in Stockton, California. They were ranked number one in the nation by ESPN. Uh, I also won back-to-back -back state championships in basketball. Um, but I started to get super burnt out. My coach was very hardcore and constantly just pushed us to be better every single day, but in a negative way. And so I found CrossFit and I wanted to become better um, in that. And that's kind of when I made the transition uh, to that. And then next question, I've definitely had my fair share of injuries. And I think if you ever go through any sort of injury, it's just remembering like, it's gonna make you not just physically stronger, but mentally stronger. It can be kind of one of the worst things that can happen to you. But just remembering like it's an opportunity to focus on something you can get better at. So for me, I had ankle surgery back in 2016 and then it helped me actually work on my upper body strength. So just not getting super down and remembering like, hey, this is an opportunity to get better. Thank you. And I think what you guys want to take away from this is that everyone's journey is a little different. Some people played only two sports before they found their sport. Some people played ten. Some people played more. I think the sky's the limit. So continue to keep finding and playing and doing what you love until you find it. Um, so thank you so much for joining us um, and sharing what inspires you in sport um, and allowing us to hear how you chase your dreams and get after it. Go. I think really good. What do you think? The girls are really cute. Mm -hmm. I don't know what sport I want to play today.
team. Keep losing. Alright, so it's girls play on three. You gotta scream and you gotta be, have to be loud and have energy, right? You ready? You gotta scream one, two, three, right? So girls play on three. Lunch break. My videographer is snoozing on the job. Hmm? My videographer is snoozing on the job. He's on lunch break. An early lunch break. Self-care. Here's how we start. What are we doing? What is your example? Huh? Cooking. Cooking. I love that. Cooking is self-care. Making choices to eat good food is self-care. When I have a choice to eat something healthy and something not healthy, I realize that the healthy food is going to fuel me better. So I choose the healthy food, and that is self-care. Angie, what's self-care for you? Wash your face. How about skin hygiene? How about we wash our face? How about we wash our face? In the morning, how about we rinse it off after we sweat? And then how about we wash it at night? That is such a good tip for self-care, Angie. Thank you. Did you have one? Are you sure? Okay. Anybody else? Self-care, what's up? Physical activities, cheer. Cheer, you gotta move your body. We gotta move our body. Here's the thing about the body. Here's the thing about the body. It's what houses all the gifts and we gotta move it so we can continue to live life and do the thing, right? Right? Exercise, that's self-care. Cheer is self-care. Sport is self-care. Play is self-care. What is it, Maria? To take care of yourself. Give me an example, Maria, of how you take care of yourself. You said wash your face and what else? You said one more thing though and I liked it, I think. Do what your mom says. That is self-care. That is self-care. It's to respect authority, to listen, right? That's self-care. You know what I mean? Because when you demonstrate respect, that is a reflection of what you have for yourself. So when you're a respectful individual, that means that you have self-respect. And self-respect is self-care. Does that make sense? Yeah. Making good choices when you eat and not eating much junk food. I love it. That is so important. That is so important.
what I'm talking about. Good job. What's happening now? Okay. Last sport, soccer. We've done basketball, we've played football, we did yoga and meditation, and a little bit of dance. That didn't go very well for me. And now it's soccer. Killed someone. I almost killed someone right so now. So the funny thing is that all of us are like, oh, look at Lauren go over. We're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're almost watching. Okay, it's funny. <laughs> you missed the one before that. It was so good. It was going all of us turned around. We're like, oh. <laughs> Oh, between me and you? Yeah. It's not even a question you're still asking. Huh? You shouldn't be asking that question, that's obvious. Tell us your answer right there. Today was a lot of fun, and now we made it back to San Diego. Today was really good, and I definitely want to do stuff like that more. It's fun. Hey guys, I did a really bad job of closing out this vlog because I was really tired earlier, but just wanted to quickly talk about what this event was for and how it was for 13 communities in the LA area to help inspire these black and Latina girls to try sport and hopefully play for good. A lot of these girls don't have access to it, so today was just all about having them try different sports, figuring out what they liked, and just helping them feel confident and inspired and just walk away feeling motivated and wanting to try sport. So it was so much fun. It was really fun to see the girls like their faces trying each and all of the sports and figure out what they like And then after this they were also going to get a Nike sports bra Which is also one of the things they talked about how a lot of girls don't have access to it So just overall this event was super cool and I was really grateful to be part of it and we are gonna be headed to dinner I think now mm. Or bed because we're really tired and we got up at 6 30 in the morning. No, we left at 6 30. We left, sorry, we left at 6 30 in the morning. We got up at 5 30. The day's been a blur. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. Make sure you like, comment down below what you want to see more of, and don't forget to subscribe.